it's Mike with Utastic. I'm here at GoToConf 2014. I'm sitting here with Richard Lee, who is a contributor to the OpenStack project, particularly the Heat project, which is a, well, he'll explain what that is. Well, first, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. So what is the Heat project? And also, what is OpenStack? And how did you get involved with contributing to it? So OpenStack is the platform that allows you to basically host your own cloud. Okay. Uh, so it's especially useful for uh, companies that host like internal cloud, maybe your mm -hmm. IT group, uh, to allow provisioning without going towards you know external cloud providers. Right. Um, so I guess the Heat project in particular is the thing that kind of orchestrates everything. It's the orchestration engine. Okay. So within OpenStack, there's a, a service for compute, so you can launch your compute nodes for load balancers, databases, mm -hmm. and Heat is the thing that kind of binds it all together. Okay. It's, okay, I want to launch a load balancer, and I want to make sure that load balancer is connected to my server, and my server is connected to my database, mm -hmm. and provides kind of the whole mapping of it all. Is H-E-A-T an acronym, or is that a code word? Uh, that is, as far as I know, that's just the name of the project. Just the name of the project, <laughs> just, just project, code name, Heat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so how did you end up contributing to that project? Is that something you were doing already with ThoughtWorks or somewhere else before? Uh, so I kind of got dropped into it just from project work. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually previously working primarily in Ruby on Rails mm -hmm. and then uh, just started going into Python, OpenStax, pretty much entirely in Python. Mm -hmm. uh, and just from project work, I started working on OpenStack, we got jumped into the Heat project, and that's where I am now. Okay, so you didn't have like a particular passion for this specific topic, it was just you saw an opportunity to contribute and, and do something, and, and you've, you've uh, come from being more of an app dev now to being working in this open source. Has that been a little bit of a challenge in how you think uh, or, or how you approach problems? It, it's been very interesting because yeah. there's there's just uh, a lot of pieces that I just didn't think about before, uh, mm -hmm. especially like Ruby on Rails. It was very easy to kind of ignore the entire OPSI world. It was right. like, oh, I'll just build my app and I'll throw it on Heroku. Yeah. And now it's very interesting seeing the way that, uh, I guess, deployments in general are moving. Mm -hmm. uh, with all these interesting tools along with OpenStack, there's, you know, uh, like Salt, Docker, all these different kind of things that you can use mm -hmm. uh, and leverage. and. Uh, it's the deployment world is very interesting, and right. OpenStack I think uh, is going to be a big player in that. Right. So it's it's a it's an interesting problem that uh, when you were coming over to Python, though, you know you, you described you were part of the Ruby community. You've been exposed now to Python community and the DevOps community. Mm -hmm. Has that been interesting? Getting an, uh, more exposure to a broader community. Uh, so it's been. It was very strange jumping in from Ruby to Python. Right. Uh, I think when I think of the Ruby community, at, at some point I was like, you know, I think I should start, uh, maybe start writing a blog or, you know, trying to record my experiences just for my own knowledge. And in the Ruby community, everyone has blogged about everything <laughs> 50 times. You can find everything written in every different way. And when I jumped into the Python community, it felt more like it was very much more academic and mm -hmm. it was very, very document based, uh, very. You know, you're trying to learn something, go read the docs for this library, for that library, and there weren't as many people writing about, this is how you use, you know, these two libraries that are very commonly used together, right. this is how you connect it. So that was, that was definitely a driver in me to start, like, writing a blog and uh, kind of providing kind of more useful information, the very personal experience of this is how you use things. Right. Uh, and then the DevOps community has been just mind-blowing for me. It's just something right. that's not... <laughs> Uh, something that I've had to think about so far. Uh, right. So, what was it in particular that kind of was new for you when you we started looking at that community? Uh, within DevOps, it's just how many different ways you can do a deployment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so one, or two. one. Just even, you know, a lot of people. I think the uh, the prevalence of Chef and Puppet uh, mm -hmm. have been big in deployments, and then people are starting to shift to. Uh, I was talking to Randy Shoup, who was saying their deployment process was. They write puppet manifests, and then they use Packer to create an AMI, and then they deploy the AMIs. And then I know there are people that are using Docker for their deployments. And then there's this heat project for how you, you know, orchestrate it all. You know, similar to uh, other options out there, like Amazon's CloudFormation is out there. And there's, there's so many different ways that you can launch what you want to launch. We're going to need a, <laughs> a, a dev, dev, DevOps ops dev kind of thing, so that way we can start to put these operation DevOps tools so we can deploy those <laughs> so that we can eventually deploy an application. Uh, 
So if people wanted to learn more about OpenStack and, and the Heat Project, where can they go and, and or check out your work? Uh, so you can definitely uh, just go to the OpenStack website. The wiki is very, very full-fledged. Uh, mm -hmm. And especially if you just go onto the OpenStack uh, IRC channels, okay. there's one for every different project, for Nova, Heat, uh, all of the different ones. And people are very active, very, very willing to talk and converse. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for taking time to speak. Appreciate yeah. it. No problem. User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way. Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at ugtastic.com.